Welcome to overview of system Verilog. So what is system Verilog? System Verilog is hardware description and verification language. The bulk of verification functionality is based on open Vera language. It inherits features from Verilog, VHDL, C and C++. What are features of system Verilog? It offers improved data types, concept of OOPs, synchronization, functional coverage, constraint randomization and assertions. System Verilog offers new data types which includes logic, two state types, arrays, user defined type, structures, unions, string, enum type as well as class. System Verilog offers following types of array, fixed array, dynamic array, packed array, unpacked array, queues, associative array. So additions to system Verilog in terms of operators, we have arithmetic operator, increment decrement operator, logical operator, bitwise, shift operator, wildcard equality, set membership and distribution operator. So casting is a concept of converting one data type to another data type. There are two ways of performing that. One is called a static casting in which we provide destination and the return type along with the source. Then we also have a dynamic casting which is done with the help of dollar cast. Just to notify, the first example is for static casting. This one is for dynamic casting. Verilog module works very well for designs, but definitely when you go for test benches, you will observe some reason on conditions. System Verilog includes the concept of program block, which is meant for writing test benches. So program block helps in removing reason on conditions between the design and the test benches. Interface. Interface is used for encapsulating the communication between design blocks, as well as design and verification blocks. Signals can be added and removed easily from an interface without modifying any of the ports. Interface can contain the connectivity, synchronization and optionally the functionality of communication between two or more blocks. System Verilog introduces the concept of object oriented programming. So it offers something called as classes. Classes allows us to create objects dynamically which can be accessed with the help of object handlers. So class is a type that includes data and the subroutines that operate on that data. Class data is also referred as class property and subroutines are also called as methods. Basic principle of OOPS includes encapsulation. So encapsulation is the concept of binding data and the function that manipulate at one particular place. Encapsulation is also used for keeping the data and function safe from the outside world also called as data hiding. Abstraction is the concept of moving the focus from the details and concrete implementation of things to types of things. Inheritance. New classes can be derived from existing classes. Existing classes are called as base classes or parent class. New classes are also referred as child class or derived class. Polymorphism. Polymorphism means having many forms. A member function can cause a different function to be executed depending upon the type of object that evokes that function. Let us talk about randomization. So basically we have three types of randomization, directed, random and constraint randomization. That's an example of directive testing. It is used for verifying specific scenarios. It is a time consuming process. It offers linear progress. In case of random, we get broader coverage. Test benches are easier to write. Tests are redundant. It takes longer time to achieve a particular functionality. Constraint randomization offers broad and deep coverage. Tests are more productive. It also helps in finding the corner cases. 
it can be constrained to achieve a better functionality. SVU offers the concept of assertions and coverage. Assertions are used to check whether your design meets a given requirement. Example, grant should be high 2 clock cycles after the request. Coverage are used to judge what part of your test plan has been verified. They are used to judge the quality of your stimulus. They help us in finding what part of code remains untested. Thank you for watching this video. For more demos and video you can visit our website www.futurewiz.co.in For any inquiry you can mail us at info at the rate futurewiz.co.in